Hello, CPUs here. So today we're going to learn how to notate Renfort Sandoz and Niente in Finale. Now you may notice that if you go to the dynamics, uh, that we actually have these two items missing from here. We don't have Niente, we don't have Renfort Sando. And you know, I used to actually always, for Niente, just create a dynamic, uh, type in n dot, put it in, like that. But I found out recently that there's actually a default character in the Maestro font for this. So I'm going to walk through you exactly how we do that. So first of all, I'm just going to show you the user manual for Finale. If you go over here to Maestro Font and we go down to Dynamics, we can actually see all the possible dynamics we have in the Maestro Font, including an N for Niente. So we just see we have to press Option N, then N again. So then if we go over here, type in there, create new dynamic, make sure you have Music Font selected, hit Option N, and then letter N again, and you have an N for Niente. Insert that, and it's in the Meister font, just like all the other dynamics. That way you don't have like two different styles going on, one for Niente, one for the dynamics. It's all the same font. And same thing if you wanted to type in an R for Renfort Sando. You just go over here, hit that, create dynamic, make sure you select Meister font. This time it's going to be option E, so option E, E. And so now we can do like RF for Renfort Sando. Hit enter, and we have that. So that's how you type in Renfort Sando in Niente in Finale. Now, I just want to point out that there's actually a whole bunch of other characters in here, like you can have the isolated M if you want, the Z, the S, that way you can create whatever you want. And if you're a Windows user, all you have to do is come up to the Windows uh, version of this site and scroll down, Dynamics. See, so yeah, we get all the old codes that you need for all the different things. So it's the same exact process. Um, for specifically Niente and the R, we're going to need to use the text insert symbol 150 or 142. But either way, the process is generally exactly the same. So that's how you can type in these. And if you are ever curious, like just how to type in anything else in general, this is an amazing resource. I'll link to both of these in the description below. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button below. Each week I post new content about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out any of those videos, make sure you subscribe.